Hello, art scientists. What I'm going to show you today is an extension of our science shapes. We did this the other day and created some really cool beakers and flasks. I have outlined them with a permanent marker. I do not want to use a Crayola washable marker because I'm going to go over this with some water. And if this were washable, it would bleed and blend and we don't want that with this. But we do want that with these. So we're gonna do a little bit of scientific color experiment making and fill up the liquid of our beakers and flasks with some different colors. So as you can see, I've got a bunch of colors here. What I wanna do is just pick two and I wanna mix them together and see what they look like. So starting off, we've got some primary colors. The primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. In theory, you can make any colors out of using these. They create secondary colors. So if I were to take these two and mix them together, they would make green. If I would take these two and mix them together, they would make orange. If I, if I took these two and mix them together, it would make purple. That's right. So I'm going to mix these two together and focus on the liquid of this flask right here. So to start off, take my marker, and I'm just going to make a series of little yellow dots and I'm only filling up the liquid area. So I do have a liquid line. I don't wanna go up into this area because there's no liquid there. So I only wanna fill this up with liquid and I'm just making a whole bunch of tiny, tiny little dots. It doesn't take very long at all. And as you can see, I am about done with that. Cap it off. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of red. Now red is a much more powerful color. It's a lot darker than yellow. So I'm not going to put as much red in here, just a little bit. And once I have that, I've got a little container of clear water here and a clean brush. This is a flat brush. You can use any kind of brush you want. I'm gonna put it in my water and paint over the dots that I created. Now this paper that I'm using right now is pretty thin. So it will seep through the paper. And it's gonna look a little something like that, but it will dry. And when it's dry, my colors will hopefully blend together. Let's try again over here. This time I'm going to use a purple and a red. What do you think will happen, scientists, if I mix these two colors together? Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna use the side of my marker so I can get some bigger dots on there. This will help me fill it up faster. Go back in with a little bit of purple and I am leaving some white space in between. So I'm not covering it completely and I am staying well within that liquid line. Oops, I'm trying to anyway, yeah, came out. Okay, so with the water, I'm gonna use a little less water and I'm gonna go a little bit faster and look at that beautiful blend. It's not seeping through my paper because I didn't use too much water I'm just kind of blending, blending, blending. Be wary. If I keep blending, 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 I'm gonna rip a hole right through my paper, which I don't want to do. But that's a pretty interesting blend right there. It's kind of pinky in between. Pretty, very pretty. Next, I think I'm gonna go with a cool color. So let's check out, I'll do a little bit of green and a little bit of, actually, you know what? Let me try this green. I've been drawn to this green lately and this teal, what will happen? Let's see. Using my marker on the side, again, just so I can quickly throw in some nice sized dots there. This will be interesting to see what it looks like when it's dry. That's not gonna be anytime soon though. I really wet that paper up. Dot, 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 dot. Keeping it well within my liquid line. I'm gonna go ahead and add some green. I think this is gonna be very pretty. That's my prediction. 
but what color will it be? A light greenish teal, probably something like that. Let's check it out. Oops, okay. A little bit clean water and just a quick layer of water. Oh, pretty, look at that. Very carefully throwing it down on my paper. Remember these markers are not Sharpies. This will not work with Sharpie because Sharpie doesn't bleed like a water-based marker does. So that, that's pretty cool, interesting. Experiment, do more dots than this or do less dots than this? Try and do different shapes perhaps before you color it in. Maybe even do some experimenting on a separate piece of paper before you go ahead and do it right in your beakers. So that way you can get it just right before you put it down on your real deal. Because this is the real deal. We're gonna be using this for another project next class, but this is all I'm asking you to do today. Just experiment, have fun, and make it beautiful. I'll talk to you soon.